Latin America has earned the right to be one of the few pockets in the world where the health of the ecosystems and biodiversity is improving. 20% of the region's territory has been set aside to conserve biodiversity, while in other regions this area covers just 13%. 15 years ago, this lake in Guatemala, for example, was abandoned and used, amongst other things, as a rubbish dump. Thanks to a plan to rehabilitate the ecosystem, today it has become an example of environmental conservation within the area. Estamos convirtiendo este lugar, eh, que más o menos de una longitud de 3 kilómetros, en un parque para nuestro municipio. Es utilizado más que todos los fines de semana para hacer jogging, para hacer bicicleta, para hacer... Eh, aeróbicos para pasear. The gains in biodiversity conservation that the region has been reaping over the past 20 years are largely due to the combined efforts of governments, civil society, multilateral organizations and the private sector. Thanks to the creation of solid legal and institutional frameworks, investment has been increased and finance guaranteed for conservation projects. One example of these joint efforts can be found in Acre, a Brazilian state within the Amazon, where in 2000, 90% of logging was illegal. Today, 85% of wood is felled legally, a fact that has encouraged the local economy, increasing the region's GDP by 44%. However, experts warn that for these projects to be sustainable, Latin America needs to continue focusing on ways of funding which lead to success. The annual total cost of financing biodiversity conservation is $76 billion. In order to, uh, to really make sure that the areas really remain um, uh, protected, you may need more than, than demarcation, you may need rangers, park management and so on, so it costs money, it's not just doing it on a map. Another country which has made strides in managing biodiversity conservation is Mexico. Through a conservation program, it managed to protect 2,003,000 hectares, or 5% of the country's woodland. All of these examples have contributed to Latin America being a world leader in biodiversity conservation and more importantly have ensured that the environmental projects remain profitable. The knowledge gained by the region over the past few years may help other regions to reproduce their successful projects and thus ensure we live in a more sustainable world.